Hey lovelies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by to see what I have going on today. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. I appreciate you all so very much. I'm so excited about today's video. I'm doing a four-way collaboration with three amazing and beautiful ladies here on YouTube. I will have more details for that for you guys as we go further into the video but first if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting just know those comments are only desired and not required just because I absolutely love to chat with you guys after each video so with all that being said we're gonna jump into our first DIY or project so my project I'm gonna be using majority of Dollar Tree items and of course they're gonna be geared around my mommy so I have two sisters and right now Dollar Tree has their coastal decor out which is absolutely gorgeous I saw these fish that I had not seen before and I instantly thought of me and my siblings so it says and I also um, was doing a little research you know on mom decor things like that gift ideas I guess and I saw this saying that says the greatest blessing um, are the ones call, that call me mom and I absolutely love that. So I'm taking in the three fish. I am giving it a little bit of a whitewash here. And I'll be adding my name along with my two sisters' name, names there. And I'm going to stack them up. And because the thickness of these pieces, it's like MDF um, base. It's not real wood. But it does have that shiplap look to it. And then I instantly remembered I had one of the little um, signs there. Miniature, I guess, like miniature um boards I forget what they're called but nonetheless <laughs> um, it says that uh, my greatest blessings are, the, are uh, call me mom and so I thought that was really cute I think I said it incorrectly in the beginning but I found these awesome rhinestones at Dollar Tree recently and I couldn't find any more they were just off randomly in a place that they didn't need you know weren't weren't supposed to be <laughs> basically but um, I looked and looked and I couldn't find more but they're absolutely beautiful and I thought they would just complement this piece very well so this is kind of a four piece set I guess if you will and I'm gonna basically stack the fish up because they are thick enough to stand on their own they don't need any real support for that so and you'll see that in a few minutes now the way these rhinestones were set up I tried to just like do a, a border around it but um, it was just too long and it wasn't lining up right so it just looked really off so I decided to just kind of cut it down and make my own design with it next I'm going in with some of these um, flowers which is a pick I got from Dollar Tree um, I thought it was I was trying to see the same color scheme but it kind of went with greens and blues, but yeah, I think it's really pretty for spring, especially, you know, since mom falls in spring. I think it was just really a nice addition. So the color seems maybe a little bit off today, but I absolutely love each of them. Well, with the exception of one, and you guys see that one. I, I didn't this, you know, I didn't love it, but I didn't dislike it. <laughs> so you guys will see that. So right here, I'm just stacking up the fish. And I absolutely love this. I thought this was so, so pretty. And I just took, oh, I don't think I mentioned that. Now, I did the printout, um, the wording and everything for my Cricut Joy. But of course, as always, you know, since these are inspiration pieces, if you don't have a Cricut machine or any way of printing out any lettering, you can definitely use Dollar Tree stickers or Walmart stickers and accomplish the same look. And there are some printables out there or websites out there where you can do printables and obtain the same thing. So just keep that in mind, you know, when we're sharing these things with you guys. Now, look at there, look at there. Oh my gosh. I am so happy to be collabing with the lovely Donna over at the Creole Crafter, the beautiful Melinda at Ivy Dalt, and my sweet, sweet, beautiful friend, Kay, at at home with K. We came together to bring this um, collaboration together for you guys. Like I said, I hope you guys find some inspiration here. Stop by their channels. I have their information in my description box below and tell them I sent you their way and tell them I said hello. <laughs> Alright, so next up we Dollar Tree has these gift bags. Oh my gosh, they're um, 
they're in the style of purses. I absolutely love this. This is something that my mom loves. She loves purses and she loves shoes, okay? And so when I saw this, I absolutely knew I had to do something with it. Now, I love taking Dollar Tree gift bags and making them into flower um, boxes or bags, if you will. And here, I just decided to take some more wording from my Cricut Joy and put best up there. So who needs a Birkin bag when you can have a best bag? <laughs> and I call my mom best boo or bestie boo. You know, that's my sweetheart. She, I just absolutely love my mom so, so much. She's so sweet and just so supportive and caring. And she loves us all so dearly. And she's just always giving, giving, giving and taking care of others, you know. So I just absolutely love that I was able to put all these things together for her. Now, what you see I'm doing here is I'm taking some corner protectors and I'm just adding these to the bag. Now this bag is not going to be used to really like carry gifts or anything in. If you wanted to do that, you definitely could. I would just say make sure they're lightweight gifts um, and you'll see why as we go through the project. So now I'm taking some of these, um, it's like a bling wrap, I think that's what they call it. And so I'm just cutting it down in rows. Um, or lines of three, I guess, or rolls of three, however you want to say. And I'm just taking my little miniature cutting knife there to cut those out. And it does have like a rubber backing to it. Almost kind of an adhesive backing, but not really. But nonetheless, it makes it really pliable and easy to maneuver or manipulate. So I wanted to change the buckle on here and make it into a square. And now I like the buckle that was on there. The only thing was it was silver. And so because I was... Um, Adding the additions to this, and the majority of them are going to be gold, I wanted to switch that up because I just felt like it would just kind of throw off the aesthetics, if you will. So all I'm doing is I'm just cutting those strips down, and as I get to the top of it, to cover up the ring part, I'm just kind of making like a tear um, to cover that. And then I go in with some more of that other um, bling wrap that I found at Dollar Tree, and I just add that in as more embellishment. Now, it was a little, you know slanted here a little wibble <laughs> wibble wobble was going on but I tried to fix it but uh, once that glue got on there it was a wrap and I didn't want to risk um, ripping it so I just rolled with it and you really couldn't tell I still think it came out absolutely beautiful and I feel like this is just something where she could just keep all year round and just always have instead of just on Mother's Day you know so next I'm taking the string of pearls that I got um or faux pearls I got from I think I got them from Dollar not Dollar Tree from um Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so all I'm doing is I measured them out and I cut the last bead on each side. So what I'm going to do now, this one has the holes because I removed the original hangers that came with it. And I'm just taking that pearl um be the, the pearl beads <laughs> and I'm just plugging them in now it did look like they were going to fit but of course they didn't because that's just how my love goes but what I decided to do was just like I said cut the little the last pearl off on the end I'm going to take that and glue it on the inside so the two will connect to get together through the hole I hope that makes sense literally it's just to make it appear as if the bead is actually going through okay I hope that that works so I did that for the back I did not add all the same embellishments on the back I just added the string of pearls on the back and already guys I absolutely love this I think it is so so stinking cute <laughs> y'all gotta let me know what you think the only thing I think I would have done different is I probably would have moved her name to the top where it could be more visible like you can see it but I just feel like it probably would have been cuter if it was like on the pink portion of it. But I just felt like it would have too much going on and you guys will see why. So right now I'm adding in a bow and I took this bow off of a gift card holder box that I got from Dollar Tree. And I took some more of that bling ribbon uh, wrap and I added right in the middle because it was silver as well. And now I'm just taking some pearls. I think I picked these up at Daiso. I could be wrong. It might have been uh, Walmart. I'm not 100% sure there either. So that was it for that part. So now I needed this to be sturdy because I am the flowers I'm going to be putting in here are very top heavy flowers. Gorgeous. Oh, they're so gorgeous. But I still needed this to be able to stand upright and to um, be able to stand the, the weight of those flowers. So I'm just taking some of these 4x4 four four wood planks, which happen to fit in the bottom of there perfectly. I was going to do three, but I, as I went through, I just saw no need to do that. And so I just glued them down with hot glue. And then 
Next, I'm taking the little wood dowels I have, and I just put them in the folds right there. And again, that's gonna keep it straight, so it doesn't, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. So it doesn't um, fold or, or buckle. Okay, so I'm just going in adding some more hot glue there. And at first I was like, maybe I shouldn't do this, but I wanted to keep that kind of a, um, I don't know what shape it's like. I wanted the shape to be different because once you open it, it looked like a full on box. And there it is, guys. Like, I thought this was so cute. Oh my God, no real flower arrangement. That was literally one pick. I just clipped them off and stuck them down in there. Now, next step. Oh, I wanted to share this to my winners for the napkins, Julie, Garrett, and Patricia Warren. They never claimed their prize, so, you know, if you guys know them, let them know that it's still out there. I'll give it another week. If not, we'll probably take a different direction. Um, I really want to be able to give you guys something back for what you're giving me. Um, so, yeah, so we'll, we'll look into that next week. So, right here... Um, another thing that my mom loves to do is read. She can read all day, all night. Sometimes two books in a day. I'm not kidding you guys. Like, she loves to read. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make her some cute um, bookmarkers. So, what I'm doing is I have this faux leather that I got from Faux Leather for You. I love it. It was like, I think they were probably like $2 and some change per sheet. But you get like, it's like a um, uh, 11 no, it's a 14 by 7. It was a weird measurement, but nonetheless, it's a good amount for situ like for projects like this. So I took the silver one and the uh the silver one and the gold one. They're both in glitter. Now my mom also loves she loves bling, okay? <laughs> so um I was like, okay, this would be really cute. So I just put them together. Now, I was a little concerned about, you know, like once I cut them down, and literally all I did was cut it in strips. And it was probably about an inch, inch, uh, you know, one inch and a quarter maybe on one. And then the other one was like slightly less than an inch, only because I got some jagged edges and I had to smooth it out. Now, I was kind of concerned initially, like, is this going to really look okay with the sides? Because I had no way of really, like, you know jazzing them up it was just such a hard cut but once i added the embellishments on them i think it worked out okay so i have these stickers that had a lot of like um religious sayings and things that reference like different verses in the bible and i absolutely love that because my mom loves the lord so do i and i just thought you know what this would be really really nice so I add those stickers on. I think I give you guys a close-up. I, I almost believe I do. I 100% believe I do. And then next, I'm taking some black um, colored rhinestones where the backing of it is black. And I'm adding that. I just did two strips of that and add it right there. At first, I was going to add it on either side, both sides rather, and go from there. But then I was like, I don't know. It, it's going to look too too congested with the wording and everything so i was like you know what let's be a rebel let's just do one side why not let's go for it so boom there we go that's what i did <laughs> and nonetheless i actually really do like it so i had some vintage keys there as you as you saw that i put off to the side and one of them i did um change the color using some of my rub and buff the black um, ivory rub and buff and then i'm taking my crop doll to put in an eyelet and that's just to add you know something to it so it's just not like me pinning the the um the tag it through if you will so that's all i do super easy um to put that in and i hardly ever use my copper dial so i was really excited to put that on camera <laughs> for you guys oh so i jumped ahead here so here's why i decided to change the key because at first i was going to leave them they're kind of a bronze color and very antique-ish looking and so or vintage and i was like you know what it's just not jiving with the silver and black so i was like okay i'm just gonna go in with the rub and buff it requires very little but i do recommend being in a well ventilated area <laughs> and here is the gold one which i did the same exact thing and here they both are with beautiful sayings on them and I absolutely love this and I think she will love it too. Now I'm taking some of this faux leather twine I have. I forget. I think I picked this up at Hobby Lobby too. But again, guys, had it in my stash for so long, I really can't remember. And I took it off the roll, so I don't know where it came from. But nonetheless, I'm um, putting that through, adding the key on there. And then I'm just taking a little knot and I'm gluing it towards the back where you can't see it. 
guys i think that's so beautiful and so simple that would make like the perfect gift just for even a friend or aunt or cousin or something like that i think these would be very simple and you can accomplish this by using the um vinyl from dollar tree it would give you the same effect 100 you may have to add something in in the middle maybe like a, a thin piece of cardboard or something but nonetheless i think you would get the same effect so here i'm taking this little um unfinished wood crown which i did paint everything I, if you see anything painted today because <laughs> i can't remember what i put up here all of it was painted off camera and i just used white paint that was it um, I did some distressing, I know for sure, but I used my burnt, my burnt umber, and I'll share that with you. So all I'm doing is I've taken that little crown there. I added in some more of that full faux, 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 le <laughs> faux, faux leather, and I printed out the word queen. And since my mom's name is Bestie, I was like, she's the true queen, queen bee, right? Like, yeah. So, <laughs> so I decided to put that on there. And then I'm going to take these extra large rhinestones that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to fill them in at the top of the tiara. I don't know if you want to call it a crown, tiara, whatever. But I'm putting them up there. And I know they were like obnox obnoxious. Ah, I can't say it. Obnoxiously. <laughs> big but I was like I had to do it because again the girl loves bling so then I'm taking um one of these diamond rhinestones putting it right in the middle and I feel like you can really see it but I know it's there so you know she'll see it and so then I found this the letter b this little um light I don't know what they call these type of lights you guys can let me know but I found it there and it happened to be blue she loves blues and greens and I added the b to that and literally I just put that together as queen bee so i think that's really cute another cute idea something simple easy doesn't cost a lot of money you know and i really think a lot of my projects came in under five dollars again i've been doing that a lot i'm like i'm so impressed with myself y'all <laughs> so next up i'm taking one of these little unfinished shadow boxes that's what i call these they could be trinket boxes i don't know but um that's what i call them and they have a newer this is new to my store where this one's a little bit more um rectangular and then I also have one that is a full-on square so what I'm doing here is I'm taking some of these unfinished um, corner protectors I ordered these off of Amazon and I'm just adding this to there like I said I'm using all white and I thought this was such a very fresh and very spring looking piece and this one is so simple like it's just I don't even know if you can call it a craft. Whenever I do stuff like this, I don't even think you can call it a craft. It's just something you're putting together. And all I did was take a piece from one of the flower picks from Dollar Tree. I used some of those um, silver dollar plants. And this is the first time I've, I've seen the green ones here at Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree. And I just tied that off with some jute twine. I'm adding in one of these cute little bowls I got from Daiso. And that's it, guys. Look how pretty that is. Like, that is so simple. You can hang it. You can sit it. I did the same thing for the square one. I just added in a different phrase where it says on the side, Mama. And then it just says, Loving, Patient, Gentle, Selfless, and Kind. I believe that was the, um, uh, Strong. <laughs> not kind strong but she is kind though but I thought that was super cute and so here um like I said my mom loves to read books and so I decided to make her a paper flower using some book pages now these book pages I did not take from any particular book I ordered these off of Amazon and I thought it would be super cute so I have been obsessed with trying to make paper flowers for the last couple of weeks and I finally kind of sort of almost maybe <laughs> perfected it not really but I think I did a good job for my first one on camera so all you do is you take the piece of paper it doesn't matter the size it just depends on how big or how small you want your flower and you're gonna take that and you're gonna fold it to make a square if you as you saw in the first part and then you need to fold it two more times to make two different triangles and so this as of course as you fold it it's gonna get smaller but you want to make sure you're cutting from the part that is gathered together and not the opening part and you're just gonna cut out either like the shape of a heart a half heart or or the shape of a snow cone whichever one you know you identify best with and once you um, do that you're gonna take a little snip off the tail and the further up you go the bigger your hole will be so just keep that in mind if by chance you decide to do that <laughs> once you open it you get the flower and there it is so um, I just went ahead and did that and now you just start 
to get the flower effect, you have to count down. So you have to have a total of four individual flowers to make a full one. So with the first one, whichever one you want to be the base, you're gonna cut one petal from there and then glue that together at the seams of where you cut. And so the further over you go, the tighter the flower will be. Okay, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and once you do it, it, it makes like a little cup almost. And then on the next one, you're gonna cut out two of the petals. So that would be like the shape of a heart. And you're gonna follow the same process and just glue those two lips together and to, you know, to make the fold. And of course, the smaller it gets, the tighter it gets and the more it will buckle. So to open up your hole, um, unlike me, cause I accidentally put too much glue and it, <laughs> and it glued itself together there. So I'm just taking in, you know, my paintbrush and just poking the hole through it. And it doesn't hurt it as long as you don't, as long as you're not too aggressive with it, it'll be fine. And so on the next one, you cut out three petals. And as you can see here, it's just getting smaller and smaller. So then when you get to the final one, you should only have four petals because you're gonna be cutting it in half, which it has a total of eight petals. So once you cut that in half, you should have a total of four, and then that will be your final piece. And then you just start gluing them together. Now, if you wanna put strings on them, if you wanna put a beaded string through it, this is the opportunity where you will go ahead and do that. And you don't have to glue it together, but I opted to because I wasn't going to be putting anything through it. I was just going to put a little pearl on the inside of it. So I'm just gluing it down. And I really didn't even have to have, um, like, when I opened it back up, I could have just left it as is. But I just wanted to show you guys what to do. And so I hope this is easy to follow. If you guys want me to show you again, I can totally do that. We can do a whole jam session on making paper flowers until we all perfect it together. <laughs> And there you have it. So I wanted to, like, again, just really identify the things that she absolutely loved to do. And I really, really love the color contrast because this is so simple and clean and neutral that, you know, it can be left up all year long. And this is another good um, gift idea, guys. So let me know what you think about it. And again, if it's not you know it's not book related you can leave it as is you can add other kind of flowers in you can add you know maybe some small kind of fruit anything hearts gems whatever i think the options are endless with these pieces today because you can really just make it your own and you can really um make it to cater to whoever you want to gift it to and i just used the oh on the back of it to hang it up i just made like a hoop ring with some juice twine on this one and i used macrame rope on the other one and that's it because I didn't want a full on, full on hanger straight across. I just want that little hoop at the top. And that's it. So I was going to add in this butterfly here, but it was too big for this piece in my opinion. And normally I kind of go big or go home, you know, because I deal with the flower. You can see, but I didn't want two big objects on there. Yeah, I know. Don't try to make sense of it because I can't. So I opted for these smaller butterflies, which happen to have the same colors of the blue and greens that I was using today. And that's it, guys. That's everything. I absolutely love. No, it's not everything. I'm lying. I have one more. This is my least favorite project, guys. And I think that's why I was thinking it was over. <laughs> because I started to omit this one. Now, I do like this. Don't get me wrong. But I just went too far left on this one i should have kept it simple less is more but i had to do things the main way so i'm taking this rice paper i ordered off of um online i can't think of the company right now where i ordered it from but i ordered you know because i never really worked with rice paper before just a little bit here and there and they had some beautiful prints so i found this blue rose well i had this way before we decided to do this collaboration and i was like oh my god i remember i had that and so I was like, let me just go ahead and incorporate it somewhere here. So I'm taking one of the little crates from Dollar Tree. And it's the one that does not have the open slits on it. and But it is the smaller one. So as you can see there, I just outlined it. And I'm cutting it down using my paper cutter there. And yes, I was trying to be a big girl today. And, you know, to do things right a little bit. Because sometimes I did, well, a couple of things I did use my scissors. But nonetheless now I will say this about working with rice um, 
uh, paper versus napkins when it comes to de decoupage. I love my napkins. I love them absolutely because you get so many more options. But with the rice paper, the only difference I will say is that it's a lot more forgiving than the napkins. And the blend on it is gorgeous. I feel the same way about my napkins, but look at it, guys. Like, that is just gorgeous. And this is where May should have stopped. At least, well, I won't say that because I think... It was up until a certain point, and I'll show you, I'll tell you guys when we get there. <laughs> You'll probably already realize it when we get there. So I'm just taking my embossing tool here, and I'm just um, pushing the paper into the little crevices. I didn't want, I started out using my exacto knife to cut it, but I did not like that. So I quickly stopped before I damaged everything. Um, and I went in with the embossing tool, and that worked a lot better. And like I said, the rice paper is so much more forgiving that you can really um, work with it uh, you could, a little bit more aggressively than you can with a napkin. And I just decided to cover that on all so the sides. I did cover it on the handle sides as well. I didn't cut through it. I left it covered because... Again, like you can't really tell the rice paper is a little bit thicker than a napkin is and it would withstand. So it's not, this is just going to be a shelf sitter. Okay, it's not going to be used to be picked up, moved around, you know, all that type of stuff. You're not going to be putting anything in it. And so here's where I go in with my burnt umber and I just do some distressing. Now, because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's just too white. The background is too, too white. But hello, everything else you did today, right, was like, <laughs> had a nice white background but for whatever reason I had in my mind that I wanted this to look very distressed which it really did look beautiful again could have stopped right here but that you know you have the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other hello the devil was busy <laughs> so I just kept going so I took another um a wording from my Cricut Joy which said mama and it has a heart at the end of it I absolutely love that again could have stopped here but no I want to keep going so I'm taking some more of this um that's uh leather uh, faux leather twine that I used earlier tying it off still not a big whoop to do thinking okay okay this is cute this is cute i wasn't trying to get the stack book uh, a look at all i just knew this was going to be a show setter piece so or even a tear tray piece really it was because it, it's a smaller box um so here's one i'm like okay no i'm having some of those silver dollars right it's so, okay looking at it i thought that green would just complement the blue which in essence it really did in all honesty it did again i could have stopped here and things would have been okay but me being may and doing what may does i was like okay no we're gonna keep going we're gonna play into the whole pearl theme you've been adding pearls to everything else and this is literally the conversation i'm having with myself yes alone crafting talking to myself that's what i do if you don't okay but i do <laughs> no but seriously so i'm like okay I'm going to just add a pearl here. Again, could have stopped there. But no, I wanted to make it rain pearls, okay? So that's what I did. And it looked like little pearl ants, y'all. I was I was so, I'm like, you know what? I should just rip this off. But then I was like, it's going to rip off the, um, the rest of the, the, you know, the rest of the piece. And I didn't want to do that because see how cute that look right there. I could have just left it, y'all. I could have just stopped right there and all would have been well with the world but no mm -mm. y'all wait wait for it y'all gonna see what i did it was a hot mess but it wasn't horrible okay but it was just not the vibe i was going after <laughs> oh, look at that y'all look at it <laughs> oh my gosh but did i stop there absolutely it did not i sure didn't <laughs> So, because I was like, okay, well, now I put all this stuff on there, it looks really, really small against all the embellishments. So, I decided to go in with these little antique legs, or vintage legs, whatever you want to call them. And um, I'm just going to hot glue this, these on. I've had these for so long, and I have used them on other wood projects, and I have never had any issue using the hot glue, ironically. And with them, they stand the test of time, you guys. So I added that to the bottom. Now, that did make it cute, but did I stop there? I did not. I absolutely didn't. <laughs> I kept going, y'all. 
<laughs> so I had these cute little knobbers. I don't know what they're called, but they look like little doorknobs. I was like, oh, that'll look cute on top. Y'all, it was late. Or if you want to say early morning, I don't know what y'all want to say it was. But I'm just telling y'all, when I, I went left, I went so far left, I hit the Pacific Ocean, y'all. It was, it was... <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> but here is everything. You guys have to let me know what you think about the projects today. So I am so excited about all of this. And here is that purse. I absolutely love that. And they have, I think, like five different styles. And I think how cute is this? Like, it's very sturdy. Again, you, you, if you want to use it as an actual gift bag, I would recommend just doing super, super lightweight items in there. And here is my greatest blessing. Call me mom. Blessings. Call me mom. I love this. I love it. And look at those bookmarks oh my goodness i know my mommy is gonna love those so much and they're gonna a little tire box um she may not get that one <laughs> but she'll probably want it anyway if i show her to work just because she's sweet like that and then our queen bee how cute is that like i just really think that's so so pretty and the way the light just shines through the bee i apologize too guys that i have to get through this so fast you know again time was just really hard for me and i'm so so sorry about that but i hope you guys were able to follow along if you can go back and just stop pause if you want to see anything it's there for you to do that i would appreciate it but again please accept my humblest apologies and there are our little shelf sitter signs or hangers if you want to put them up I love everything today. I love the freshness of it all. It screams spring to me and just, I hope my mom loves it. Well, I know she will. I know she will because I think I just captured all the little things that she likes. And to my good friends, Donna, Melinda, Kay, ladies, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to collab with you all today. Guys, don't forget to go into the description box to check them out and tell them I sent you their way. And as always, before we wrap up, I like to say thank you for joining me and taking the ride. I appreciate each and every one of you. And also, loveies, remember to fall in love every day. Every day you have an opportunity to open your eyes. It's an opportunity to fall in love with at least one something that day. So try to find the good, the joy, the happy, and everything you see, say, do, or touch. I promise you, I promise you, it is there. It is there for you to claim. So... Until the next video, loveys, be safe, be kind, and happy.